Hello everyone and welcome back here to Comic Vantage. Now today we have a very special unboxing episode. But before we get to all this, let me do some shameless plugs. Before we start, make sure you guys head over to ComicVantage.com to pick up some of my mystery boxes. Comic Vantage branded bags and bags. <laughs> I have two different sizes, current size, silver age. These are amazing. You know, it's funny. I my back my own books into the bags. I'm always like, wow, those are really awesome. So when you love your own product, you know you got something on your hands. And also be sure to check me out every Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern, over on Whatnot for my auction. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun. It's just a blast. Lots of great books, lots of great people. It's just, oh, it's just amazing. All right, so anyway, with all that out of the way, we have coffee. Oh, we have 40 packs of 27 year old spawn trading cards yes from america's number one selling comic book actually at this time x-men was a number one selling comic book <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. although spawn might have been you know number one on the chart for like a week todd mcfarland really knows how to spin stuff so, we are going to open 40 of these. If anybody watched my unboxing video last week, you will see that I found these in my closet. They have been there probably about four years. <laughs> I had no idea what was in the package. I was in complete and utter shock when I opened them. So, let's see. What do we have a chance of getting here? All right. We have randomly inserted limited edition cards. We have painted cards, one in nine packs. Todd Toys action figure cards, 1 in 18 packs. Yes, before it was called McFarland Toys, it was called Todd Toys. But they got sued by Barbie because they had a figure named Todd. All right, and then Todd McFarland all new art cards, 1 in 36. Chrome cards, 1 in 360 packs. Also look for randomly inserted autograph cards. Now, there's no guarantee on the autograph cards. There's no one in whatever because I guess I'm assuming there's probably like two in the entire run. Who knows? All right. Oh, I don't even know where to begin with all this, but yeah, this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Coffee. It's been a long time since I've done a trading card unboxing. All right, let's see. First up, no bubble gum. Where's my bubble gum? Wow. The package is really like foil. Look at that. It's actually stay. I wonder if I can recycle those. <laughs> it's like foil with plastic overlay. Interesting. I don't remember those being like that. All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Just a Todd Toys plug for their action figures. Wow, in the fall they released six action figures. Spawn 2, Cosmic Angela, Redeemer, Ninja Spawn. And they did Youngblood and Wetworks. Wow, this was a serious time to be collecting action figures. I had so much fun. Mount Bolgia. One per box. I think down here in Wetworks, the werewolf action figure was one per case. Really, really hard to get. Yeah, that was fun time. Man, memories. All right, let's see what we got here. We got some Billy Kincaid to start off with. Mr. Chili. We have a character I have no idea who it is. Taking down Byron. Amazing artwork on these cards. You guys have any ideas what should I do with the cards after I'm done open them? Because I will not keep them. Wow, it's a beautiful Angela. I wonder who drew that. Art by Chris Sprouse and Al Gordon. Oh, wait, nope, that's two stuck together. Oh, it's Jim Lee and Chuck Gibson. That does not look like Jim Lee. Wow, really cool. That must be the Chris Sprouse. Oh, we have Spawn Crying. Oh, Tim Sale artwork. Man, he got a lot of good artists on these things. Good old Violator. Who did the artwork on that? Jeff Rebner. Never heard of him. And a good old Malbolgia. All right, so nothing fun in this one. John Cleary artwork. Well, why does John Cleary artwork look like Todd McFarlane? Interesting. I wonder if he inked over it, give it his own flair. He was known for doing that. 
pack number two. Again, we're gonna have the advertisement on the bottom, I'm assuming. Sure thing. All right, right on top. Hey, Spawn loses an arm. <laughs> uh, Woohoo, what do we got here? The Soul Trapper. Man, this is such a fun time to be collecting comic books. So cool. Oh, Walter Simonson artwork there. Cagliostro. Man, some really beautiful artwork. So cool. Hey, Roger Cruz. Some more Billy Kincaid. Done by John Cleary. Dan Norton and Al Gordon. All right, another bust. Getting some cool artwork, but no cool cards. I'm feeling disenchanted. Although, what were the odds on the, even the painted cards are one in nine. So you have to open nine packs to get even one painted card. Odds are not in my favor. Although they do have 40 packs, so hey, hey what was I just saying? We got a painted card. Good overkill. Man, these cards are like stuck together. P7. Nice. I'll just put you there. Can you see over there? Awesome. That was spawn upside down. By Ben Herrera. <laughs> when Billy Kincaid became a spawn because he's so evil. Mark Pennington, I had a feeling that's who that was. Twenty-seven years stuck together. Alan. Alan Lim. Man, a lot of these artists I have never heard of. I wonder what ever happened to them. You know, we had so many good artists in the 90s, Richard Case, and they just kind of disappeared. I think a lot of them went off to, uh, you know, other venues, video games and things like that. The video game industry was really taken off and they really wanted artists. We lost a lot, a lot of good artists to video games. And we are only on pack four here. All right. Let's see what we got here. More Tim Sale. Beautiful. That's a duplicate. Now we're going to start getting our dupes up. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are all duplicates. This one is not. Good old Sam Keith. I would have thought that's a painted card, but it's not because it has the border still on it. Very cool. Anyway, like I was saying, if you guys have an idea of what I should do with these cards after I'm done with them, yeah, maybe comment down below. Let me know what you think. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen that one. It's uh, rather amusing. I was having a kind of a nostalgia thing the other day. Comic Foo was opening Walmart grab bags, and it made me remind me, or it reminded me back in the 90s that Walmart always carried grab bags back then. Uh, they weren't theirs per se. They were some of those weird, you know, boost your collection. Oh, guarantee collector's items, things like that. And they were in those weird plastic bags. And it was like, I don't know, like five books for 10 bucks or whatever it was. Anyway, it's like almost guaranteed in every single one of those packs, you were going to get a spawn number one and an X-Men number one. <laughs> because there were so many copies of each one floating around. 
and nobody had any idea what was going to happen to them, and they're just overstocked. They were way overprinted. And now, man, I think it was like up until five years ago, Spawn Number One was still a really cheap comic. Duplicate. Duplicate. More Jim Lee. Yeah, I'm going to kind of just... The only not dupe. Let's see, Pop Mahan. Who is that? No idea. Wow, we have so many of these to go through, people. Eisenfield. Hmm. Beautiful. Wow, this whole pack was new cards. figure cards and these are 1 in 18 packs wow and there it is I got one some beautiful new artwork on these cards oh it's actually there we go Oh, another gorgeous Angela. Hey, this is J. Scott Campbell. All right. What do we got here? Wow, I have only gone through three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight packs in ten minutes. <laughs> So by that route, it's going to take me like an hour to open all these. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut to the chase. Exactly that. I'm going to cut it right here, open all these up, come back, show you the chase cards. Get it cut to the chase. Oh, yeah, dad joke, groan. Um, hopefully I get something good. And if there's any cool artwork that jumps out at me, you know, like J. Scott Campbell or Jim Lee, I will actually leave it to the side and show it to you as well. So I'll be right back. Well, here they are, all 40 packs open. And I gotta say, opening these packs was a serious trip down nostalgia lane. That was actually a lot of fun. Like I said, it's gonna take way too long to do it on camera. We got all 40 of the Todd Toys advertisements, one per pack. Ooh, so rare. <laughs> here are all the cards. Now, before I show you the chase cards, I did promise that if I found anything interesting, I would show it to you. So, this is what I found. This was actually kind of cool. Oh, look at that. I only had one of these in all 40 packs. Absolutely gorgeous J. Lee artwork. I wish J. Lee still drew like this. Man, it was dark. It was gritty. His guys were huge and angular and just, it was a mess and beautiful now everybody is really super skinny and i don't know it's kind of weird i love his old 90s artwork man i'm a huge fan of that the other thing is is every trading card set has a checklist this one is no different and oh boy what a checklist it is so here's 
the checklist. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look at the smoldering. Look at the denim. Look at the 90s. <laughs> All right, so now let's get to the chase cards, people. So, for all intents and purposes, we have our good old odds here. First up, the limited edition painted cards were supposed to be one in nine. By the numbers, I should have at least four painted cards. We already saw the Overt Kill, and I only ended up with two. This one. And this one. Really, really cool Ken Stacy kind of rat fink homage card. That's actually really neat. I love this. You got the spawn mobile, you got good old chapel down there. Spawn with his tongue sticking out, having a blast. So cool, yeah. But only got two, so by the numbers, I'm short there. Now, the next up for the action figure line. The action figures were supposed to be one in 18. Again, by all rights, I should have two of those. I did better. I ended up with three. So we have the Commando Spawn. We have Pilot Spawn. Ooh, Pilot Spawn. And Angela. So very cool. So yeah, did really, really well on that. Now the next thing we had was the Todd McFarlane all new art cards, one in 36. So I should have ended up with at least one. Pachow, look at that. This is TG4. There's only a four card set with new artwork in it. And uh, I ended up with two. Look at that. These are the only cards that were worth a damn on eBay either. <laughs> they actually sell for about 10 bucks a piece. Still, I did see a guy that sold the four card set for 25, but singles, these go for about 10 bucks. Nice, right? I think 20 is about what I paid for all these anyway, so if I ever decide to resell these, then that just covers it right there. Although, I probably won't. Now, the last thing is we have the 1 in 36 Todd Chrome card. I ended up with none. According to the checklist, though, it's supposed to be Spawn in his new costume. And there are also two promo cards, one from the Direct Market and one from the Cards Illustrated uh, magazine. You need to see what those are. So very cool. Yeah, this was fun. I had a blast. Oh, man, yeah. It's too bad, though. These are kind of oversized, so I don't have any holders for them. So anyway, like I said, guys, uh, let me know what you think I should do with these. They're just going to, because I am i don't keep them. I don't collect trading cards. That was just, you know, something fun. And I end up with three of these. So if anybody wants a Todd McFarlane, you know, card, let me know. <laughs> like always, guys, this was actually a lot of fun. If you like me opening trading cards, let me know. It's like the second or third time I've done it. It's been a while, though. And uh, I wouldn't mind doing more. So... If you see what you like, let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you to all my channel subscribers. You guys are awesome. If you're new to the channel, hit the little CV right there and the little bell. Let you know when all the stuff's coming out. And I will see you guys tomorrow, April 1st at whatnot, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern for my whatnot auction. I'm going to have so many cool things. Who knows? Maybe I'll give out some cards or something during my auction. So... Like always, guys. Oh, and my channel's members. Yes, my members. Your name's scrolling right here with a huge thank you. And on that note, thank you for watching and take it easy.